Uh. Woo! Yeah. Hey, hey. Uh. Everybody. Yeah. I got this feeling uh. inside my bones. Yeah. It goes electric uh. wavy when I turn it on. Yeah. All through my city, uh. all through my home. Yeah. We're flying high, no ceiling when we're in our zone. Yeah. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. Got that hot blood in my body. And it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes above it. We've been so phenomenally. We are not the way we rock it. We don't stop. And under the light, when everything goes, you know where I hide when I'm getting you close. When we move. I don't need no reason to take control. I fly so high, no ceiling when I'm in my zone. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. Got that hot blood in my body. Then it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Through my life, the way the rocket don't stop. And under the light. Everything goes nowhere I hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine, just imagine. Tell him when to turn. <laughs> so good to be with you here That's on right. Saturday night, May 9th. That's right. In the middle of this whole thing. Well, maybe uh, getting closer to the end of this whole thing. I know. This may be our last show, I think. Yeah, it might. Uh, well, we'll see about that. We'll let you know. But as of today, we have uh, a gig, an actual gig. Yay. Because Palm Beach reopened phase one, they're calling it, of the reopening. Phase one allows restaurants to do 25% of capacity. So one quarter of what they would normally be able to put in a full house, they're going to bring in. So 
Mel's uh, Mel's Way Bistro, Bistro in and Lake Worth. I, I posted it up on Lake my page. Lake Worth. Uh, we'll post a bigger one yes. so that you see it. Has asked us if we could do next Saturday night from 6 to 9. 6 to 9 and limited capacity, of course. And yes. food's great. And we're going to have dancing or we're just going to have a really good time. And I think you got to get out, right, a little bit well, and for those, good body. For those who are feeling safe enough about it, yes, uh, I'm sure do. Mel is going to take all the precautions necessary, keep the place spotless clean, keep all the people, uh, you know, from the getting... The right social distance. That's right, the right social distancing and everything necessary so that nobody gets sick. We're trying to uh, ju just ease our way back in. So she called us and asked us if we could do our first Saturday with her. And we'll see how it goes, and we'll see if there's uh, additional ones she wants us to do. But as of now, this... Well, I won't say this is going to be our last broadcast. I will We're say... We're not going to say that. We okay. won't be here next Saturday. We won't. But uh, for those of you who want to realign yourself and get back, ease yourself back into um, what's probably going to be a slightly new reality, we would, uh, we would invite you to make a reservation up there at Mel's. All the information is on Susie's page. Right, but we'll post it again in bigger print. And we'll put it on the party yeah. people. We'll put it on my page. We'll put it everywhere. Anyhow, so nice to be here with you all today. We're just going to have a little potpourri of fun today. Nothing, no particular... Potpourri of tunes. I called it Name That Tune. I'm like, okay. But, uh, you know, uh, potpourri. Okay, Name That Tune is a game that you play. I know. Yeah. We that, played it many that, times. That requires an audience to actually be present. They, say, can, ooh, they, ooh, can, ooh, they can, they can, they can I can name type. that tune. Anyway. Right, we're going to get moving on. We are. Okay, go by. I'm going, bye. Put your mic on mute and bye. let me do this song we had a request for. Mm -hmm.
very much. What's that? Okay, I've been instructed that the, the balloons are a distraction which has to go. So my apologies if you're a balloon lover. Oh, take that, take that please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. For our next musical endeavor, we're going to be featuring Derek and Amanda on a song by Stevie Nicks and uh, Tom Petty. That's right. I knew that. All right. Uh, the mic's working? Yeah. Okay. Then off we go. Notice how awesome her hair looks. It's pink. I woke up and it was pink. I Crazy. know, it's amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
We hope we're having, you're having a good time because we are having a great time. We love doing these for you. Um, all right, so I'm going to dedicate this song to my friend Benz. Benz, hello, Benz. How are you? This is for you. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, girl. Come on now. Well, I'm coming out tonight. The best thing about being a woman is a prerogative to have a little fun and oh, 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 totally crazy. Get on my lady, men's shirt, short skirts. Oh, 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 really go out and do any this time. Oh, 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 get in the action, get the attraction, cover my head. Like a woman. Woo! How you doing, Sammy? Let's put it in last minute. The girls need a break, and I'm gonna take a chance to get out on the top. We don't need romance, we only wanna dance. We're gonna let our hair down. The best thing about being a woman is a pride. a woman. further ado, you missed him last week and the week before, but now he's coming out. He's not next. Yes, he is. I know who's next. Here you go. Evan.
young girls they do get weary wearing that same old funky dress yes ooh while she may be weary weary why don't you try a little tenderness tenderness Now you know she's there waiting Oh yeah, Just anticipating For all those things she knows She's never ever gonna possess Yes Oh Why she got to be so weary
I'm exhausted. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now, a moment that we're going to go back in time. For those of you who remember the 80s, I just want to tell you it was sometimes just like this. And Amanda, look at that. Listen to my rousing applause. <laughs> Awesomeness. Okay, now we're going to have some more fun because that's all we like to do is have fun. Ah, in the midst of it all, we're going to have fun. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, here's something that's uh, typical for this particular son. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's do this together. We've been quarantined for a long time. We got our drinks, but we need to work out. I know you're not ready for it, but we're gonna get up out of our seats and then we're gonna sit back down. We're gonna do some up and down, kind of like this. You see how that works? You wanna make sure you're working the butt. We're working the butt right now. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna pick up the drink, bring it to the mouth, and sip. Mm, you can taste it. It burns a little bit. But then we're gonna walk, because we're walking to the fridge to open the door. Take out, use the snacks. <laughs> then we're gonna sit our butt right on the couch. Then we're gonna dance around and click the church. I hope you're 
all enjoy yourself because quarantine workouts can be a little bit hard and a little bit hot. I know you guys are all out there having a little hard time right now. Woo! But I've been here with the whole family. We've been all quarantined together, but we've had to work out every day because if not, we're going to get a little, you know, bloated. And we don't want that. So let's just keep moving. And now we're going to kick it up just a little bit. Ready? We're going to stretch. 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 Shimmy left. Shimmy right. Now backwards. You got it. You guys are getting it. Mm -hmm. Woo. I don't know about you, but it's getting a little hot in here. I think it's time to start taking some of this off, baby. I don't know. That might be a little too much. You can see, I'm ready for this. Woo. All right. Not sure what else we got left. I think we got one more movement. I'm gonna have to go to it, and it's gonna be very simple. So everybody just stick with me, you ready? This is called picking up the Amazon package. See that? We pick up and we pivot. We're gonna bend and pivot. Mm -hmm. Bend and pivot. Now take that phone and order more stuff. That's what we're doing. Order it. I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial on getting a workout during a quarantine. I know I did. Woo! I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Have a nice swing on me. Oh my gosh, that was really funny. Oh. Did you get a workout? Oh my, that was great, Sean. Just so you know, that was a last minute, last minute thing, and that was, that was great. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Well, moving on here. So I asked you to uh, tell me if you had a birthday in May. Uh, hold on, where's my mic? Hold on one second, mic stand. And um, a lot of people told me about a lot of really cool things, so I wanted to make sure that I Definitely told everybody what's going on. Hold on one second as I raise this up a little bit. Okay. So we have May birthdays. All right, so here we go. All right, May birthdays now. I want to wish my dear friend Susan Swig in Massachusetts a happy birthday. She is celebrating next week. Happy birthday, my dear friend. Um, a wave to you, a, a hug and a kiss. To my alibi friends and, uh, and family, I want to say happy birthday, Cal. Happy birthday, Greg. Happy birthday, Patty. Happy birthday, Moondog and Gidget, because hey, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Also want to wish my friend Rhonda Kaplan. I love her. She's an awesome singer and wonderful friend. Um, and married a dear friend of mine that I went to high school, Steve Kaplan, who is an extremely talented man as well. It's her birthday, and it's also another singer who is very talented, Mindy McGee's birthday in May. Happy birthday, you guys. Also, my friend, my customer from New Jersey, Gita Greenberg, I hope you're watching. It is your birthday. Lisa, my cousin in New Jersey, happy birthday, my dear. And Heather, Heather from New York City, mommy said, I have to wish you a happy birthday, so happy birthday to you, my love. I want to wish friends of mine, dear friends who I love, Donna, Dantel, Fontaine, Rosa Terry, and Priscilla. We went to high school together. We just graduated a couple of years ago, so it's wonderful. Linda Pilar's dad, Victor, turned 86 years old. He's going to be turning 86 at the end of this month. Danielle O'Doyley, she is a wonderful friend, neighbor. Uh, we've known them for years and years. We've been living here for 25 years in Coconut Creek. It's Danielle's birthday. And her grandmother, Priscilla, is going to be turning 100 years old. Let's hear it for that. Come on, that's great. But we also want to wish my dear daughter-in-law, who will be um, celebrating her birthday at the end of this month, Amanda's birthday as well. So we're going to sing happy birthday to all these people, and uh, let's do it right now. Here we go. You ready? I was ready, but okay. I'm not ready. Hold Sammy, on. are you going to sing happy Thank birthday to everybody? Are you ready? Can you sing? You're going to sing? You ready? Yes. Sammy. 
Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Ready? Oh! Happy birthday. Exciting. First of all, we want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. Ladies, yes, happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to everybody. you. You know, my friends Charlie and Ellen, and they're in Gainesville, Florida, just welcomed their first grandson named Braxton into this world. Now, that's how you celebrate Mother's Day. I'll tell you, there's nothing better. And I'm so happy that I've had the, I've had the honor of having all of my sons in one house and my daughter-in-law. The only one I'm missing is my dear daughter, Rhonda, and my grand kids, Haley and Brayden, but I know you're watching, so uh, I want to dedicate this next song, and my mom, who is in heaven, I want to dedicate this song to all of you mothers, and say happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> For all those times you stood by me, for all the truth that you made me see, for all the joy you brought into my life, for all the wrong that you may right, for every dream that you may come true, for all the love I found in you, I'll be forever thankful. You're the one who held me up, never let me fall. You're the one who saw me through, through it all. For my strength when I was weak, you were my voice when I couldn't speak. You were my eyes when I couldn't see. You saw. Place. 
because it's just so much fun. So let's bring it on. Let's bring it on right now. Here we go. Woo, hey. Turn on sin wagon. Woo! Yeah, that's right. On a mission to make something happen. Feel the love to give myself son. Do a little mattress dancing. That's right, I said a mattress dance. It's not over. 
cross cruise. Is it cross cruise or is it cruise cross? No, it's criss cross. It's not criss cross. All right, Sammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Can you say anything? <laughs> yes, good boy. They never want to perform when you ask them to. Okay. Yeah. Now we, it is, right? Here's a song that we want to dedicate to our friends, Jeff and Chris. They love this song. And, Jeff uh, and Chris, we yes. miss the hell out of you. I know. We miss you guys so much. We do. All you guys down at the Alibi, everybody over at Fishtails, everybody over at Mel's that we're going to get to see. Yeah. Hopefully, um, well, a few of you at least, uh, next week. Everybody from Murphy's. Murphy's! We yeah, miss hey. you. We miss all you guys. My brother Roy, my brother John. Roy and John are going to be doing a show together next week. That's yeah, that's going to be really cool. They're braving death itself. No, yes. no, let's not say that. <laughs> They're going to be fine. Um, they, they, are, they are taking a chance, but, you know, it's time that we uh, ease, ease back into. To life. Yeah, life. All right, Chris yeah. and Jeff, this is for you guys. We love yous.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You might want to leave it like that, Sean. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, little explanation. Uh, obviously, we have a uh, we have a very tight knit family of musician entertainer friends. You all know who they are. You all know who you are. We don't have to say all your names. Many years ago, when uh, when Roy and I used to work in the Kenny Martell show, we became best buddies. He was our best man at our wedding, and he always says, and he's still the best man, which is, uh, you know, neither here nor there. Uh, but when he came back here from Massachusetts, uh, we started writing stuff together, medleys, songs, stuff for him to do, uh, like I've been writing stuff for Susie's shows for years already, and we started writing stuff for his shows, and then, you know, other things that we did, albums that he put together, and and we were sitting one day looking at the song, You Never Walk Alone. My buddy Carl just sent that to me by Barbara Streisand. And I sent him a version with Roy and Susie singing it that we did for a show that Roy and Susie used to do, do together, Cruz and Michaels. And so uh, Roy still does that song to this day. It's on his album, him doing it solo. We just thought we would do the duet version for you tonight. So, Sean. And start. Sorry, folks. <laughs> we want to shout out to our okay, friend. Here we go. What? I need a second chance. So hold on. One, two, three, four. Nope. That's not the song. That's no wonder. Not the song. <laughs> Back it up one more time. I'm sorry about this, folks. Technical difficulties, but that's life. One. We want to shout out to our friend Emily Secundino. She had a bout with COVID and uh, took her a month to get over it. And now she's uh, fighting another thing, which has to do a little with it. But I think it's the same we thing over again. Are praying for you, honey. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high. And don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet.
just before the dawn. Thank you. Hang in there, please. As for everybody that's been struggling, everybody that's been going through this storm of a disease worldwide, you know, sometimes we just gotta take a breath and try to keep plowing through. And on the other, and you know, and you get to a place where all of a sudden, thank God, the sun comes up again. Amen. Okay, we're gonna bring our number five son out now. Ryan, Ryan where are you? Ryan Davis Cruz, there he is. Ryan James Cruz. <laughs> I'm, missing, I'm mixing up all the middle names. Okay. I'm going to play you a chord so you can get the beginning of this. Yes. Look at them spectacles. 
you always want to make a spectacle of yourself. I don't know what the problem is, but you know. Uh. Okay, we have come to the end of our evening. Right, Susie Cruz? Yeah. This is a special song. I I've always loved it. It's from The Greatest Showman. I want to shout it out to Chi Chi. Chi Chi, we love yes, you. Yes, he's been wanting me to do this song since we started the doing the concerts. But you know, it, 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 it's a special part, a special song to my heart and probably to all of you because no matter what anybody says about you, no matter they look at you and they judge you wrongly, um, we have to find that confidence in ourselves to just be who God made us to be. So with that in mind, this song is a special song to me. I hope it is to you. I'm not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say, because we don't want to broken parts. Learn to be ashamed of us.
right after this, actually a few minutes ago started. Ronnie Davis is on his uh, page, right. Facebook page. Go Please watch. go and support Ronnie. We love you. We love all of you. We'll see you soon. That's right. See God bless you. you.